Okay, here's a Rubik's Cube tutorial for Vlad Filatov. So, the first thing you want to do is um, find uh, a side. So, in our case, we'll be doing white because that's what people tend to do white cross. So, the first thing we're going to do is fill out this cross on the bottom, right? You'll notice that before we get into actually turning the cube, there's a few things you should know, and that's that um, from any position of the cube, you can rotate it so that the white's on the bottom. And just for an example, if white's on the bottom and green is facing you, orange will always be to the right of green. Maybe it's flipped on the on the camera, but if you have it in this position, orange will always be to the right of green if yellow if white is on the bottom. Um, it's because there's no actual way to permute these two um, these two centerpieces. Because any move, you know, it seems like you're moving, you can move the, the middle, but whenever you're moving the middle, you can actually think about that as holding the cube still and rotating aside, right? If you, if I move this, that's like moving this upwards. Or, you know, you can just think about any um, rotation as keeping the centers where they are and moving a single face. Um, now that we have that out of the way, some terminology, these are called centers, these are called edges, these are called corners. So I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, a few other things you should know is that yellow is always opposite white, uh, blue is always opposite green, and red is always opposite orange. So the, you know, you can think about how orange and red are similar, um, white and yellow are similar, green and blue are pretty similar. Now let's get into actually solving. So we have a white centerpiece here, so this is where, this is the face we're going to be doing the white cross on. So let's locate a few um, edges, right? So we see that here we have an edge with a, a green and a white. So let's uh, try to get that. Mm, here's a better. White on the bottom. And from now on, white will be on the bottom, so I'll just show you the sides. Uh, we have a green piece here. What am I doing? We're at, no, sorry. A green piece here, okay? We want uh, this green piece to go here. We just want it to, to kind of flip and rotate on the bottom. So first, let's get it to the top, right? I'm talking about this green piece here. This is still the bottom, by the way. So if we get it to the top like this, right, just by rotating its face, yeah, this is a better angle, right? Again, green to the top. Then I can actually, if I rotate green this way, we have something like this. And now I can just move it to the bottom. I don't really know how to explain this process. I think it's pretty intuitive. Um, let's try again with another piece. So, something like this. Now, um, God, this is kind of hard to make a tutorial in uh, backwards, but just to recap, we have this, right? And we're trying to get that for everything. Um, so I'll go through the next kind of fast. Remember that white is on the bottom. So. Over here, uh, we line up blue center with the blue white edge, right? And we just rotate it. So now we have uh, something like this. So we do that for each one, right? Here, it's already perfect. We have um, a red attached to the red centerpiece and white on top. We can just do a good one, two, and now we have three, right? We're still missing this one, the orange white. So now I'm looking for the orange white. Oh, I found it. It's right here. So, again, the way you would do this is to bring the orange so that orange is connected like this and then move it twice. But, um, for the sake of our example, or, um, sorry, what am I doing? Just as an example, uh, let's say it was like this, where there was no way to really connect the orange Right, if we're looking at the orange, 
there's no way to really connect um, the orange center to the uh, orange white edge. What we actually do here is move it to the side, connect it like this. Okay, so once again, we're in this position, move it to either side, and connect it like this. Right, so you'll see what this does is gives us an opportunity to align it like so. Okay, so once again, from this position, connecting it to the orange and putting in place. The only problem is you'll notice that uh, if we're in this position and we go like this, this is all fine. The, edge, the cross is all okay. Once we lower this to connect it to the orange, sorry, once we lower it to connect it to the orange, this actually moves the green out of the way. Okay? So that's actually not uh, a big deal. Right? The green is okay now. What we can do is get the green out of the way, get the orange where it's supposed to be, and then put the green back. So maybe like rewind um, if you need help with the cross some more. Do the cross a different way. Um, it's whatever. But once we have that out of the way, there are two ways well, that I'm familiar with to do. Um, so the next step, by the way, is to get the corners and these edges here. Right. So we have white on the bottom. We have that good. We're trying to get all of these. We're trying to get the first two layers. It's called. I'll do it. The, I think I'll do it the easier way. So easier way is um, to intuitively solve the first layer and then do the second layer with a set algorithm. So um, actually, I think it's if we're doing it super slowly, it's easier to keep the white uh, on top. So from now, I'm going to keep the white on top. Um, the way we're going to do this is. Let's start by locating a uh, corner. So again, white is on top. We're trying to get this corner here. So you see that we can actually do that in one move. It's pretty simple, right? If we do it in one move, uh, it's good with red. It's also good with blue, right? The only problem is that it moves the red edge piece out. What we can actually do is a reasonable fix. So you see that we want to rotate this face. So let's move the corner in a way that if we rotate this face, we won't be affecting the corner, right? So if we were rotating this face to get it up, we would move it this way. Since we're rotating this face, move it that way. Get it out of the way, move the, um, the edge piece down, move the corner back, move it back up, right? So. I remember when I was a kid, I used to refer to it as a schluck bound, but um, I think it's just called a regular insertion. There's another way to do it called a sledgehammer, but for now let's refer to it as insertion. So it's kind of moving, right, moving, um, if we're looking at just these three, we're moving this row of um, pieces down replacing one of them and moving them back up, which um, leaves two of them undisturbed. So now let's do a similar thing. Um, hold on a second. Just for example's sake, let's say we have something like this. Okay, so this is the same thing. Which that's exactly the same. Let's say we have something like this. Okay, so now we're trying to get it like this. Because we see here what we're missing is a white, orange, and blue. Piece, right? And it's right here actually, white, white, orange, and blue. So what we want is something like this. But that moves the orange thing, the orange thing, out of the way. So, since we want to rotate this face, we move it out this way. Right, so now we can rotate this face just fine. So we move it down, replace it, and move it back up. Right, let me do it under a better angle. Boom, boom, boom. Now, uh, for the rest, it can be a bit tricky. So now, for this, we want this piece to go here, but there's no way to do that in one move, right? We're, we're trying to connect this green with this red, and we have a green, red, white over here. But the problem is that if we move it up, it's oriented incorrectly. So actually, what we do here is kind of sneaky, but um, if we 
push this corner down now we're instead of usually we're trying to get it out of the way because it's already oriented correctly here we actually leave it in so that it um we change its orientation so we push it down then we get it out of the way and then we put it back up right if you want to be safe then you can get it out of the way twice because then there's no because um all right it's fine uh now that we got it out of the way we see that it's right here now there is a way to get it to the top in one move so that white is facing up okay and the way we do that of course is by rotating this face so we get out of the way get it out of the way move that face downwards get it back in the way and then move that face upwards right you'll notice we almost have a complete we're missing this and um, that happens to be this corner now let's say you're in this situation again easy fix we just rotate it get it out of the way and rotate back to change its orientation and now we can insert it in a different way by getting it out of the way moving it back oh shit what did i do whatever i hope um i didn't confuse you there you should be able to do a first uh layer intuitively okay and remember that doing the first face actually doesn't matter for jackson because you can't permute individual stickers you got to think about pieces that you're permuting that you're moving around in. all right next up there's actually an algorithm right uh and it's an algorithm to get this edge piece of shit how can i show you better this edge piece of orange and green uh here right so we want it something like this it's hard for me to see because it's um in the opposite but i'm looking at the camera get my mouth out of the way we want something like this right, but we can't just do that because we're disturbing um everything here but there's actually a set algorithm to do that okay so just kind of follow my um this is gonna be kind of hard to do in reverse um one second all right, I'll try. All right, so make sure you got it in this position where um, you got center connected to a similar uh, same color with, um, you know, so this could be orange and blue or orange and green. If it was orange and blue, we would want it to go like this. But since it's orange and green, we actually want it to go like this. So make sure it's... Um, facing the right way if this um you know if this piece isn't the same color as the, the face directly to the left do a different algorithm okay um i realize that might be confusing if the camera is inverting the um the video but um whatever just um Try to follow everything I'm doing. If it looks the same as in the video and you follow what I'm doing in the video, it should uh, be okay. So now, go like this, and you want to face. You want to face the side that's um, good, and you're turning it this way. Okay. So what you actually do is get it out of the way, not get it out of the way, but Turn it in the direction opposite of the of the other face. So you're interested in two faces. You're facing the one that's connected, and you get it. You turn it so that it's facing opposite the other face, the other color. Okay. Then you turn that other color up. Then you move it. Just slow this down and rewind if you have any trouble. Then you um. Turn it back, undo what you did before, and then undo the first one. It should be paired up now, right? You can see uh, one by one by two, kind of block here, that's identical. And from here, you just want to insert it, okay? And you insert it the same way you would um, a different one, and that's by getting them out of the way, 
moving something up from the bottom lid, moving them back, and moving them down. Okay, I'll, I'll do this uh, three more times, so don't wait. But um, here we have the same, no, not the same exact example. Um, that's also not the same exact example. Uh, Second. Yeah, okay, there, that's the same thing. So, again, we want to make this uh, edge boom here. That would be perfect. So, what we do is boom, 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 boom. Maybe rotate it so that it's easier to go boom, boom. Boom. Okay, and now we have two pairs done. Now we're looking at this corner, uh, which I messed up. Um, don't worry about that doing that. You should still have the bottom face. I would that was the only thing. Um, now let's get another uh, corner. Okay, so now here I have run into a problem. Okay, I have this corner here. This edge, excuse me, is um should be over here right and this edge should be over there these two edges have swapped so what i'm actually going to do now is using the same algorithm hit this edge on top and then put it in here by boot by putting it in here this places this edge to the top layer and then i'll put it uh move it and put it here okay so let's start with this edge actually no i'll start with this edge Right, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm putting this piece here because by putting this piece here, well, I, I'm not gonna pretend I actually am gonna put this piece here, but by putting this piece here, I just place it to the top layer. So I move it away, up, down, you'll get the hang of that um, the more you do it. So now, if I look on the top layer, oh, would you look at that? have something like this so we do the same thing move it away dun, 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 dun. okay and i think this is the first instance um that this has come up with when i have um uh something that needs to go like this right normally it needs to go like this but now we're doing the left version of that okay so it's the same thing i move it like this. I move it away. I bring this up, move it back, move this back. Now they're paired up. Right? From the uh, from them being paired up, I think it's fairly um, simple what you should do, right? Just move them away and insert them. So now you should have all of this. The first two layers is called F2L. Now we're on to this. Um, so now there's a few things you should know. Um, in my case, I've actually gotten a very simple algorithm, right? But it's not always that easy. So, you'll most likely have something like this. Okay, not exactly like these two. I hope you know I don't mean that. I mean, um, something that doesn't have all the yellows oriented upwards. If all the yellows are oriented upwards, just skip forward in the video. This step is called orienting last layers, or OLL. That means you have all the pieces, all these pieces, you know, each one has yellow on them. So that yellow isn't facing upwards, right? So we, we don't just um, rotate this corner, right? We probably could, you know, just rotate all the corners um, so that they face upwards. But that's not what we're going to do. Big plot twist. What we're actually going to do is first try to get the cross. The cross of, um, yellow. Okay? So, what you want to do is you'll have one of three situations right now. One, one of four, technically. One is that you already have a cross solved. You don't pay attention to the rest. Now we're trying to get the cross down. Either you have that, or you have something like this with only two of them solved, 
Um, if only two of them are sold, then they will be um, either opposite or adjacent. Okay. Um, and then you can't have three of them solved without the last one being solved. Actually, if that's the case, then um, that can actually never be the case because flipping a coin it doesn't affect that. Just you know, break your cube and reassemble it because that's not possible. All right, now we're, that we're in this position, you either want, um, let's just say you have two solves that are adjacent, okay? What you do is you um, go like this. I'm not going to say like left or right because that would probably confuse you more than help you because it might be inverted. Go like this with yellow facing on top, of course, and follow my moves. Oh, shit, don't follow my moves. I was thinking, okay. What the fuck did I do? Jesus Christ. Please don't follow my moves. Uh, let me undo that. Yeah. Um, actually, there we go. Let's say you're in this position, okay? Follow my moves now, please. Boom. Boom. F U R U R F. I don't know what I did before. Go like one, two, three, and then do them in a reverse order. All right. So I did the algorithm there a few times. Just for emphasis. Now, let's say you have something like this, where only two of them are solved. Two opposite, right? You actually just want either either way like this. Uh, you want them to be on the top layer like this, so that um, they're not uh, facing you. And you actually do almost the opposite. You the front face, one of the sides, right? So. Okay, so once again, it's like this, and you go. Okay, now you should have the cross on top. If you don't have the cross on top, I don't know, like rewind and uh, get to where I am now. Um, from here, in theory, you, you would actually be able to memorize this algorithm get this but I'm not gonna make you do that uh, actually, yeah, let me just go back to this position um, what you end up your end goal for right now is to get it in this situation where you have a sort of fish once you have a fish it's very easy okay so let's say you don't have a fish Let's say you have something like this. Honestly, just keep spamming what I'm about to show you right now, okay? So, uh, boom, 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 okay? It's very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, this should never affect the bottom layer. If it's affecting the bottom layer, you know, fuck, go back, fuck, go back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so each time you're going boom, 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 and boom, 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 except for one of the times you go double boom, okay? So, just spam that. Actually, I spammed it and it even works without me trying to, but let's say it doesn't. Once you're at the fish, stop. Okay, once you're at the fish, stop. And, um... Get it like this, okay? Get the fish that it's facing um, towards your left. I'm not gonna point, but just, uh, shit. Let's say it's facing this way. If this is, right, this is either my left or my right, um, whatever. And then do the algorithm again. Two, three, four, five, boom, boom. Right, if it doesn't work, well, if, it's, if it doesn't, if it actually messes up the cross, you did something wrong. 
But if there's still a fish, you did okay. Just do it again. If you still get a fish after that, there's a problem. But if you have a fish twice in a row, that's okay. Just do it again. You should have it solved. Now, there's just a few more algorithms. Okay? So what you want to do is you have a few cases here. Okay? You either can have two corners solved. Right? You see that they're in the right spot. You can either have that with these two in the wrong spots. Or... Actually. Or you can have two corners solved in opposite spots. So we see that this corner is solved. 180 degrees that um that this corner is solved. I don't know if I showed that correctly. This corner and this corner. No, goddamn this corner, that's one. Um either way, you want to just keep using this algorithm until it works. Okay, so just watch it on that shape. So let's say you have two corners solved. Okay, put them in the back based on solved corners. If you have two opposites, it doesn't, sorry. If you have two opposites, it doesn't matter where they are. Just go like this. Okay, follow my move, movements exactly. Jesus. Okay, now if you had um, two corners solved and you put them in the back, that should have solved all your corners. If you had two opposites, that should have made put it in a position where you could solve two corners, you could have put them in the back and then solved them. Um, in my case, I already had two solved, so I, didn't ha I only had to use the algorithm once. Now you should be in this position, with um, at most, what? at most, one uh, face completely solved. Out of all these one edge solved right the step right now we already did the corners um is to permute these edges okay if none of them are solved that's okay just do the algorithm um a bit until it is solved okay so once you have excuse me once you have one um solved put it in the back again face the unsolved right solve unsolved what you want to do is this certain algorithm okay where you flip the face facing it twice okay so so far i didn't do anything much but i flipped it twice now i actually sorry unflip it real quick and make sure you see what exactly what's going on i have these three corners and i want to move them in this certain way i want this edge that's orange to go here this blue to go over here and this green to go over here okay so i want it to go like boom 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 now that you know that flip the front one twice again and move in the direction you want that edge to go okay so just back to here i want this orange edge to go here so when i flip this face twice i move it there Okay. Now I'll do the algorithm. Remember that, um, just keep that in mind. Once you're here, it should be pretty uh, close to solve. The only thing is that I'm going to go like this. If you started off wanting to move the corners the other way around, then you go like this. From there, it's pretty easy though. Then you should be solved, right? Then you can just play around. You'll notice that um, anything you do, right? If you want to go on the road, it could take a while. I'm actually gonna do it right now. It could take a while, but any sort of algorithm you do uh, repeatedly will eventually get you back to the solved state. It doesn't matter what the algorithm is, um, eventually you will cycle back 
uh, to your original spot. Right, this should make intuitive sense. And also, mathematically, you can kind of plot each position of the cube on a, you can kind of map it out. And you'll see that since there are a finite number of possible positions of the cube, um, if it doesn't go back to the solved state, it must have found a loop somewhere else. And of course, there can't be a loop somewhere else because um, if you have a certain position and you do the inverse of the algorithm, you'll have the position from which the algorithm will take you to that position. So there can't be two nodes going to one node from your algorithm. So I, this isn't really relevant to the solving of the cube, you know, you already solved the cube. But, um, in case you wanted to know why the road works is because because it fucking does. Just take my word for it. Um, it says it took half an hour. I think you need to add the time where my camera cut out around the five minute mark. So there's solving a cube in half an hour. Now try to get it down to 3.5 seconds. See you.